Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about the meaning of the word Corona, the original meaning of the word before it was applied to its current situation. Now, I know I have been absent a little bit from my channel, but I haven't really been myself. I've had some unfortunate events happen in my family and I just couldn't put on a face. But I can't move forward with other videos when so much is going on in the world that concerns me, that I, that I have thoughts about. So I want to talk about this so I can move past it and do other things. So for me, I, you know, I think that the name of something is very important. So if you want to understand something, the first thing you should do is look at the name, right? So Corona is actually... I think, I don't know if this is the original meaning because we apply it to also another part of the body, the male body, but it is the fiery halo around the, the sun. So if, you know, like, so basically when there is a solar eclipse, a full solar eclipse, I don't know if that's um, a, a solar eclipse when the moon actually, you know, is in front of the sun and then around it is like a fiery halo. That is what a corona is. So I said, okay, all right, that's what that's the original meaning of the word corona. We good. Now, when does a when do you see the corona? Guess what? You can only see the corona of the sun during a solar eclipse. Okay, now we somewhere. So the moon moves in front of the sun and basically what happens is there, you know, there's, you know, there's darkness, right? But what does the moon represent? The moon represents our intuition, our unconscious thoughts, desires, so things that, that, um, that our dark side, right? The moon represents our dark side, our emotions, our uh, unconscious desires and wishes, and the sun is our... Uh, external persona the face that we show to the world so basically when I was doing a lot of research about the metaphysical and spiritual meaning of a solar eclipse I'm just talking about just in a general meaning is it is a time of rapid changes transformation um, it's when things aren't working in your life this is a time when things needed changes come about um, things that we don't need that we tend to um, get rid of them it is a time of um, basically when you don't really feel like you have a faded things seem to happen but it always work out for the best this type of thing so even if you look up the word you know when I, the word corona led me to the meaning of a solar eclipse and a solar eclipse if you look at it it to me it is rich with the definition of everything that is happening to us in today's society everything so basically we're going through a period where we're going through rapid changes we're going through transformation um, we're getting now I know some people might feel like oh my god this is, you know, really, well, of course, it's horrible, but I think what is happening is that we are moving into the age of virtual reality, where we'll be zooming into each other's living rooms. The doctor is zooming into your home. I don't know if you've had a virtual doctor visit yet. We're zooming everywhere. I think there are parts of our society without Wi-Fi. It's like once we have moved into a new age of advancements with humans, we move all of the world in that same direction and i think that a lot of there are a lot of um urban and rural areas where people don't have access to computers or wi-fi but now we've closed the schools so now a lot of schools a lot of the children in some of our poorest areas are being forced to have virtual classrooms well a lot of the upscale or um, people have always had virtual classrooms so now they have exactly what they need I know there are a lot of programs here where I live where they're giving away free computers and they're putting Wi-Fi into everybody's home so every time there's a rapid change every time there's something new that's coming in kind of like during the industrial revolution there are always going to be loss losses and there are always going to be gains so um, I think it has to do, 
when there is the enlightenment period or an evolution, I'm not the word I was looking for. I think that when we look at the word corona and we apply it to a solar eclipse because that's when we see the sun and we look at what's happening, everything will make sense to you. So one of the things that I was reading about it is that during a solar eclipse, they're saying that people should really take care of themselves because your immune system is weak, your digestive system is weak, and something about our the biochemistry and the, and the environment. Like I said, oh my God, this is everything that's happening to us. We're going through a solar eclipse, and they said during this time you should meditate and pray because you want to bring as much God light and love and inner you know light to your beingness because the light has been blotted sort of. Uh, you know the sunlight has been blotted at the center of the sun but it's so that you can go inward to bring about to remove things that aren't working and also I read that during a solar eclipse it also represents the bringing about of a oneness I think that is happening especially with now we're going to be zooming and to the classrooms and the doctors are zooming into our homes and um, attorneys everything I can think of social workers um, I know in the past when people were doing these virtual visits when they would visit property and I think um, but you know but the thing about it that's interesting is that we're wearing masks right and I want to do a separate video but I might just just get it all out so basically the mask hides um, our you know it the mask covers our throat chakra which well the throat chakra is you know here but it also includes your mouth your teeth your, your tongue your lips so our throat chakra which expresses our truth um, our purpose our creativity our ability to recognize truth our ability to listen that is being covered because I think we're being asked to use our third eye to see to I mean to well, I'm sorry let me say this I think we're being asked to shut up and listen and look and pay attention so anyway I want to talk more about that in another video but so basically guys what is happening the, is that the moon when I say the moon the internal the the part of us that needs to cleanse the part of us that needs to get rid of old karma past issues the part of us that needs to get rid of what's not working in society and within ourselves that is what's happening now and I know this as a person who has lost a family member to this I'm, I'm not I hope this doesn't sound insensitive but you know I noticed that the news kept saying things like people with underlying medical issues are more vulnerable and I felt that those are cold words for the people who, you know, maybe I think technology sometimes keeps us alive under any circumstances. People who maybe have wanted to leave the planet for a while but really couldn't. But anyway, I don't want to get into that because this is, this is, that's a very sensitive subject for me. But I'm just going to say that what is happening on the planet is a... Um, evolution that's taking place similar to the Industrial Revolution um, this is why we're all pretty much you know under lockdown I think we're being allowed to leave in in um, increments but and I think the reason and it's another thing I want to say about this is that I think that the reason that we have not from a spiritual standpoint now I know from a physical standpoint or from a you know we don't want to transfer this thing this virus to other people but from a spiritual standpoint I was reading that we're doing our solar eclipse when the moon is covering the Sun we can have very tumultuous relationships with our loved ones because of what's happening because because of the darkness so a lot of times people are fighting and arguing and they're not getting along because of the transformation that is happening on a global um, from a global perspective so I think what's interesting is that even though we're being asked to you know like not we're I think they're loosening it up across the the world is but I think what's happening is when you 
I, I don't know. I think we're we're communicating in a different way. Um, not only w- if we had been together under these circumstances, I think there would have been there would have been more arguments, more just just ve- just a lot of um, controversy, right? But I think what also moved into place was a new way of communicating. I know so many people who didn't even know what Skype was or how to Skype or how to pull up their relatives on the, you know, you know what I mean? Like, especially like in poor urban and rural areas. So this technology um, has moved into place so the humans can communicate and interact with each other in a whole different way. Now, of course, it's not going to be the same as being there, but this new way of seeing each other, this digital way of, of, of um, communicating and reaching people who did not have this technology, uh, making changes to the environment. I know that a lot of uh, spiritual people are talking about, or I don't want to say spiritual, but a lot of there have been like I heard a lot of positive changes to the planet in general, in terms of the atmosphere or the, um, y- you know, where the ozone layer yeah there's been some healing so again during this dark period um where uh, the solar eclipse where we can see the corona of the sun which represents rapid change and transformation and needed changes um this is a time they say we should you know really pray we should meditate and then we should also um a lot of people say you'll be moved in to new jobs or in but if you're not moved by the universe, like kind of stay where you are. And also, when the moon covers the light, because remember, they said that you, your clarity in thinking is not as clear. So you should try not to make major decisions during this time because your thinking is, is a little cloudy. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys so that I can, you know, start doing some other things. But I can't talk about other things when something so important is, you know, weighing on my spirit. So if you want to look at look up what um, the word corona and the sun and the light around the sun that you can only see when there's a a solar eclipse and look up like the spiritual meaning of it, you will see everything that I'm telling you and um, it relaxed my spirit. But I had to go through a period of just honestly just being afraid just trying to figure everything out and listening to so many um videos and re- just try, you know just kind of like going crazy thinking like why is this happening just you know or you know <laughs> just so many things but I, that was my conclusion we're going through a through an enlightenment period an advancement period and um and I think this is a time for us to look inward within ourselves, to center ourselves, take care of ourselves, root ourselves, take care of each other, and understand that the shifts that are happening are bringing in a whole new technology and way of communicating um, between humans. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.